What's good, Tarot Tribe? It's the Priest, and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. In today's reading, we're going to be looking at what the greatest version of yourself looks like and feels like, and most importantly, what you need to know to ascend to become the greatest version of you. So we'll be looking at the greatest capacity in which you can exist here on Earth, pretty much. So yeah, it's going to be some pretty deep messages. So if you guys are a part of the tribe and have been here from the jump, definitely give a shout out to all of you guys who continuously follow follow my message and are connected to me. I definitely don't feel like there's a coincidence as to how we connected. So thank you so much for being a part of my tribe and allowing me to guide you. So if you guys have not already subscribed to become a part of the tribe, definitely do so down below. And if you are looking for more information and education on becoming the greatest version of yourself, you can find that also in my description box titled Ascend to Your Greatest Self. And also you can find that on my website, thetarotpriest.com, my booking information, all the cool events that I have coming up, you can find that down below. So if you are here, you could possibly be going through an ascension. So we do have four different decks here to kind of explain what this ascension is happening and taking place in your life. So the ascension will affect many, many things in your life, including your identity, your transformation of who you're becoming and so many more things. If you guys are looking for more information, you can find that down below at the ascend to your greatest version down in the description box. So we have four different decks that you can choose from. And the question is, how can you become the greatest version of you? And how can you ascend to becoming that greatest version? So we have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. So I'm really interested in seeing what messages you guys are going to be getting when it comes to ascending and going to a higher height to becoming and evolving the greatest version of you. So let's see what you guys got in the reading. If you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and how you can become the greatest you, but all in all, how you can ascend to becoming the greatest version of you. And first, I want to see what that looks like. Fairy energy, growth, expansion, a flowering. Okay, so your life is meant to be mysterious and magical. Let's see who you're becoming. I'm also getting with this card, I'm also feeling like you are going through an expansion or will go through this expansion very soon because we have that here. And that's usually what the ascension is. You are going beyond the limit in which you limited yourself. Okay. And that could be in many, many ways. Okay. We're going to get some more information as to who is deck one, the person watching, who are they becoming to ascend to their greatest self, reveal their greatest version of themselves to me. Thank you. Wow. Ascend. See, this is why I love when I shuffle on camera because you guys get to see the magical moments and you can see that your guides are here. Higher self is definitely here guiding you through the cosmos on a higher perspective. So you are definitely here to be connected to a much more mysterious and, and mystical world and you're becoming someone who is ascending. So someone who has ascended becomes the greatest version of them and it requires them to do what? Let go. So you are surrendering who you used to be so that you can embrace this person that you are becoming and have always meant to be this person. Who you already were, who you always been, that's what I'm hearing. So what you're doing is now this ascension requires you to let go and surrender a lot of what is not you. It no longer identifies with you. So there is a, an ascension that you're going through to become Electra, to become more electrifying. So your, your life was meant to be adventurous. The greatest version of you sees life to be adventurous. Okay. Sees it from the fairy's point of view, very mystical, very excited for things to happen. Okay. This is the greatest version of you. And what this does is it, it gives you an awareness Okay. It says I connect to oneness and I expand my awareness. So your greatest version of you is connected to the universe, which is oneness, universe, oneness. So we also know that 
you're going to be expanding your awareness. Your third eye is going to be opening during this time of expansion. Also sacred journey. So this is something that's been destined for you even to find this reading. It's just so crazy to see how we get to places. Like if you ever have that moment and you're like, if I never would have seen this, I don't know where I would be. I do feel like even this reading is part of your expansion. So there is more that your spirit wants you to start seeking. So your greatest version is someone who is a seeker, someone who is excited to see new things and explore. So you will go through a lot of expansions. Now I talked a lot about this in the ascending to your greatest version. So if you guys are looking for that, definitely check out the description box. And we talk a lot about all of the surrendering that's involved. And it feels like surrendering. Sometimes it feels like sacrifice, but it's just particles that don't belong to you. They're no longer identifying as you. And this takes you having to go through this inner journey of discovering who you truly are. So this is a self-knowledge. So you're here to discover you. And if you're here to discover you, you're going to find some really magical, mystical things about yourself. So you're coming out as a star. Okay. And I love this. There's so many more messages coming, but I want to get all of the cards on the table just to see what spirit has for you. How you can become this in a practical way. Because I, I love the spiritual stuff, but just to bring it together practically is also something that I feel like spirit wants to give you is a practical way of giving and receiving, having balance in your practical things. I definitely feel like the greatest version of you desires to have more materialistically with the six of pentacles here. The greatest version of you desires to be free. We have Capricorn energy here, which is also the devil. It says, I am free of whatever is holding me back. Your greatest version wants to be free wants to fly okay and this level of freedom allows you to also explore and seek you are here to seek you are here to see more it's a journey when it stops becoming a journey that's when you know you're on the wrong track universe yeah, so you are highly connected. Your greatest version is highly connected to the universe. The more open you are to that communication, the more it will come in. And the more that you trust your knowing. We do have the queen of cups, the queen of hearts in reverse. This is not trusting your intuition and following your heart. This is the best way to uncover the greatest version of you. This is the best way that you're going to get all of the results that you're looking for love in love and practically yeah we even have financial and material changes your greatest version is very abundant okay your greatest version does not worry about finances things come very easily materialistically you're like a magnet who attracts a lot of i want to say i i what i'm feeling is royalty but when you see how she's dressed like it, it is this sense of like royalty that you are here that you could be attracted to jewelry certain crystals rubies stones um things that make you light up this is going to be what you desire to have yeah so your greatest version desires to have practical things and that's okay it desires to express itself through very shiny <laughs> luxurious royal um things that i'm getting mystical that's kind of what I'm seeing here for, for your spirit. All right, let's just see more on the greatest version of the person watching. Give me three cards for the person watching. Thank you. Last one. Thank you. Okay, so the greatest version, queen of wands, is creative. Your greatest version is very curious to know more very explorative, uh, explorative, okay? You're coming up as a child who desires to see more. And the greatest version I also see is connected to your, your inner child. So if you go back to your childhood, you will find the purest of the pure things about you when you, when you would believe that everything was possible, when you could believe that anything was possible is something I'm hearing. Spirit is taking you back to your childhood when you could be anything you wanted to be. 
And I'm also seeing that just to bring this into the upright, because this is again, how you're ascending. You're ascending by freeing yourself from whatever is holding you back. Let's see what that is. And this is what you would be doing to ascend whatever is holding them back. The lovers, okay? It could be a commitment that you've made um, in a partner with something or a company, someone. Could be a company, could be your job, could be a relationship. And I'm seeing that it's not necessarily about the relationship as much as it is not allowing other things or people to come before your dreams and desires. You're learning the balance here. That's something that you're learning so that you can ascend to become the greatest version. The greatest version of you is a magician, someone who believes in magic and power, um, someone who has been able to actually witness this for themselves because they've been curious enough to follow it. This is the greatest version. So anytime that feeling comes up of wanting to seek more or know more or discover more, being that's your greatest version communicating with you. We also have the queen of wands. So this is someone who is very confident. This is someone who's very fierce. This is someone who has a lot of energy to share. Um, and someone who has a lot of, I even hear brilliance, power. So your higher self has a lot of power. Your higher self, your greatest self is the one who's able to make all good things happen. And let's see what some of the things that your, your greatest self has done in your life. If you're here, just so you can kind of recognize this 10 of swords. So yeah, you've been able to get through some things that you didn't even know how you were going to get out of. Some of you could have dodged literal, this is for a few near death experiences, but I'm definitely seeing that you've went through so much and, and you feel or have felt that the only the strength and the courage could have came from something greater than you. Um, spirit is saying all those times that you've been through when you felt like you were being backstabbed by other people, spirit has been there. You have felt this energy for a, a long time. This energy feels like comfort. It feels like assurance. It feels like strength and courage. And I do see that to ascend to your greatest version, the biggest thing is to understand the communication of the universe. Just understanding a little bit more about how you didn't do this all by yourself. Getting in touch with that connection of protection that has been guiding you all along. Okay, so you're coming up as a very fierce person, someone who's very, 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 very creative. Okay, this is someone who is very creative, loves to express himself. This would be the greatest version of you. Now, the greatest version of you to ascend, your spirit guides are asking you to do deep breathing. And you see they're connecting with the cosmos. Deep breathing, releasing, meditating, silence and solitude is the fastest way to connect with your intuition. They also want you, yeah, intuition. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's more awareness that's under that's necessary for you to see that you're not doing this alone, for you to see that freedom is here for you. Freedom is the key to happiness. That is something that I lived by for many, many years, and it's the core of many truths. You are learning various things, even when it comes to your power. My super attractor power comes from how I feel, my faith in love, and the joy I put out. So that's what I mean by ascending to this greater version, understanding more of where is this power coming from? How do we have this ability? Well, we are connected to the universe and the universe is living within us and so much more. So this is a journey that you are here to take. That's the sacred journey. You find the truth for yourself. This is how you ascend to the greatest version. And then once you know, it's so crazy because when you find out that you're the magician after an entire life of kind of settling or downplaying your greatness, it's almost like a huge wake up call of like, whoa, I'm the magician. So I do see that you're going to start getting curious about these powers that you do have. 
This is part of your ascension to your greatest version. And also I accept that good things come easily. I am a super attractor. So spirit is saying you have attracting power that has been given to you by the universe to attract whatever it is that you focus the most on. I didn't say what you want because sometimes we focus the most on what we don't want and that's why we attract it. So you're learning how to use these powers that you do have. When I surrender my will to the care of universe and when I surrender my will to the care of spirit and the universe, I attune my energy with an ever present stream of well being. So, yeah, this is more that you're learning here the sacred journey of self knowledge. It's like when you know you, it's, it's in, almost impossible to not know the creator, right? So, it's the same thing as an Apple product. We're not going to take it to HP for information, we're not going to take it to Windows. We're going to take it to what? Apple. So, what Spirit is saying is that you are a unique vibrational being. And only I know the truth in who you are. And the more you know you, the more you know your creator. And you will know that some, take it, take it to the manufacturer. That's what I'm hearing. Go to the source. So you're learning this for yourself. And so that's where you're going to get your answers. But spirit wants you to get it for yourself. So your greatest version, the greatest you, super creative, in love with life, surrounded by people who share that same love and interest. I see that you're very free, expansive, ex excited to explore, to seek, to know, to learn. There's nothing but joy that I'm seeing that your higher self wants to embrace for the next stage in your life. So if this is you guys, and this is resonating with you, the biggest thing is that you are learning more of who you are. And through that, you learn more about your creator and they are connected. They are one. And that one is also you. So yeah, really, really dope messages that are going to be coming for you, for you when it comes to ascending to your greatest version. So that's a heavy, heavy question and a heavy asking for you to ask the universe to help you ascend to that version because it is literally something that very many people get the chance to experience in their life. So if you guys chose deck number one, definitely comment down below. And if you're looking for off the grid readings, you can find that at thecharochest.com. In the meantime, I'm going to be moving on to deck number two. All right. If you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and how to become the greatest you first to start. I want to know a little bit about what the greatest version of you looks like. So spirit, higher self, reveal the highest version of the person watching their highest self. Thank you. All right. We have the Lapis Lazuli star, starlight. My inner vision guides me to my higher purpose. Your greater self feels very deeply that there is a higher purpose for its existence. Let's see what that would be. The hidden worlds, the crystal path. So we have changing consciousness, awareness, extra sensory perception, and mineral spirits, crystal beings. So I definitely feel like you can be an empath if you're here. That means that you have an extra sensory perception. You can feel the energy of others. Um, you may feel deeply that you are here to help, service others. I wanna get one more card. Reveal their greatest version of themselves, the person watching. Thank you. Yeah, Maya. The ruby star flow. I embody my authentic and sensual essence. So lots of feminine energy here at play, sensual, sensing. You have abilities to sense. So you have an extra heightened awareness when it comes to your emotions. You can definitely be, I don't want to say just a water sign because it's typical, but I mean, for the most part, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, all embody a very emotional, 
I guess you can say placement when it comes to the water signs. So I see that this is something that is part of who you are. We have two Mayas. So, I mean, that could be very prevalent to you in your life. It doesn't have to be, but we have the Amazon queen battle. I am devoted and I am a devoted warrior of the universe. So you are definitely here as a star seed. You are here as a star light. You're here as a light worker. You are here to seek the light, to find the light. Your greatest version is here on this higher purpose of an inner vision that's guiding you. So it's like it's being revealed over time, this vision to you, but it's up to you to trust that. So the ascension that is on you to become this is to get curious, get excited, start something new. Okay, we have the seven of swords we have the four of cups i listen to my heart and follow my knowing and we have the nine of cups so many of you will be able to feel when when it's time for a change so many of you could feel when it's time to ascend because we ascend and we go through ascensions often okay there's evolving which we are constantly evolving but an ascension is almost like a turbo boost so many of you may feel very emotional around this time you might need to sleep when it comes to an ascension there's many symptoms of an ascension which again i talked about in the ascension to your greatest version you can find that in the description box or down below um, for more information on understanding how these ascensions work but i do see we have water a lot of water signs obviously here but you can be very emotional around this time of ascending um, and something that can feel like how you would know that you're going through ascension is that you feel incomplete. There's like an, a void there. You feel like there's something missing. This is because you are here to explore your higher purpose and this purpose is given to you through an inner vision. So you must use your senses to detect this message. Light. So yeah, you're definitely here as a light worker, as a light guide, as a healer, could be into enlightenment, um, definitely spirituality. The light has guided you all this way. I definitely feel like you can have even came here many lifetimes. That's something too that I'm getting awareness, but I'm definitely seeing that third eye and the crown chakra on fire. This is like, you will go through an ascension and I feel like you have been through ascensions if you're on this deck for sure, because your awareness is heightened. Okay, we also have firm foundation. Also, your relationships. Because you're an empath, there is a balance when it comes to giving and receiving, even with the flow of life. I do see that in order to ascend to your greatest version, there should be a firm foundation of who you are, what you want, what you're devoted to, what, what is your most authentic version of you, getting closer to that firm foundation and then to ascend, look for fairies, look for the magic in things. Nothing is by coincidence. So uh, every day, you know, finding a way to see the magic in things, to see it from a different perspective. And I see that this is going to open up your senses. I'm also feeling like there could have been a disconnect somewhere with your spirituality because it definitely seems to be non-existent. And I will just say maybe it's the practice of spirituality. We'll get into that. We don't really have any major arcana cards here. So I'm looking for what's going on spiritually with deck two. Thank you. Three of wands, three of wheels, sorry. Knight of wheels in reverse. Spirituality for deck. Thank you. Nine of swords and the sun in reverse. Okay. So I'm seeing definitely to ascend, be patient with yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. It is the magic is in you. So don't think that you have to go learn more, do more to understand this. This is more so of just being in tune with who you are in this inner vision and your imagination. That's something else I'm hearing. You can definitely I, I do see that you have gifts here. Let's see what this is about because it's peeking out. 
when I truly surrender my desires to the universe, a mighty force of faith can set in. So a lot of you, I'm definitely hearing to get out of the way, okay? To give spirit the wheel to open up and allow this connection to come forth. It is the universe in within us, God's source, whichever you choose to believe, that allows us the ability to manifest, the ability to feel such things as joy, happiness, love, ease, fun, excitement, inspiration. And the universe within you is what allows you the power that you do have. This is what's helping you become more of you. So there is some type of unraveling that I'm seeing that you're going through of discovery of oneself not to be anxious about things that are not happened yet, have not happened yet, not to forcefully try to make this happen. This is just who you are and it's what you're destined to be. And that is someone that lives a very exciting life through very magical moments. Let's see what your purpose, higher purpose is here for. What is the higher purpose here for? Page of Swords. Let's see why that's here. Yeah. You are definitely going through an evolution. You are definitely going through an ascension. And it's to get you to see things differently, to see yourself differently, to change your perspective on things so that you can begin to attract what it is that you truly desire. There are some passions I do feel like maybe you've put on hold. A project, it could be a project, a passion. The right support. All of this is going to make sense when you allow the universe to do its job and all you do is align with your wants and desires being open to the good news, listening to your heart, being open to a higher perspective. Okay, I definitely feel like for you, you are emerging into even understanding who you are. I mean, I don't think you've even gotten a peek of the greatness in what you are here to do in this lifetime. And this doesn't always have to be so miraculous Greatness is greatness. It doesn't have to be, it will be miraculous actually, <laughs> but I don't want you to think that there's a certain version of what that looks like because everyone's greatness is different. And I'm seeing for you, there, you're, the greatest version of you is very stable, very dedicated, very devoted. Um, the greatest of you is just very carefree, um, enjoying life, wanting to try new things I'm seeing here and very devoted to I, I believe that you're even ascending to becoming more devoted to a higher perspective other than you. And that is my friend, spirituality. So I, I definitely see that you will ascend in trusting more, having more trust and faith in your instincts. Okay. And then surrender is like, when you really surrender, it's just not even your job to make certain things happen. It's the universe's job. It's God's job. We are just co-creating. So I'm sensing to, to ascending to your highest version is also having a lot to do with your faith in what you believe. And I see that this, your spiritual life is going to expand drastically. It says, when I cultivate a spiritual connection, I can trust the universe no matter what. See, it's definitely something that I'm sensing for you, deck number two, that to ascend, connect with crystals. That was something that was here. Connect with crystals and look for fairies. So looking for the magic, we even have 11 here. That's something as well. And then cultivating a spiritual connection so that you can trust more. I do see that with the seven of swords, you could have definitely went through having some issues trusting other people and 
even maybe trusting yourself with certain things, trusting yourself to believe something and maybe it didn't happen right away. So you lost the faith in it. But I'm seeing that you are co-creating with the universe here and you can trust the universe no matter what, no matter what your instincts will never fail you. Your instincts are all embodied in the truth. So you can never be deceived. That's another thing I'm hearing. Each time I choose to tune into spirit, guidance of the highest truth shows up for me. Thank you, spirit. Backing me up with the message over here. Okay, I love to say that the closest thing to hearing the voice of spirit is through truth. And the closest you get to truth, the more you're able to trust. Truth, trust, it's all connected. All right, let's see if there's anything else they have to do to ascend to become this greatest version. Your greatest version is a star. Your greatest version is someone who is very, very empathic, wants to help other people, wants to service other people, but definitely this joy is for here for you as well. We have the fool card going through the unknown, taking a leap of faith, taking a leap out. I'm definitely seeing this is what it's going to take for you to trust more and becoming your greatest version. So the universe is helping you transform into this greatest self. Your greatest self is again, carefree, very stable. There's no worry in the world. It's all joy. Okay. Your, your greatest version trusts itself, listens to its self because it is your heart. It is your soul. It's a knowing it's all con connected. And so I'm sensing that to ascend here, taking this leap of faith is going to teach you more than I can ever tell you or show you. And that's because you're taking this leap into the unknown. And through this, you will discover, wow, I went through this in the whole time. I had a great spiritual connection. I made it out. This happened. Um, I believed in this and it came true. I want to clarify why the Empress is here in reverse for deck two, how they can ascend to the greatest you. Okay, definitely letting go of what needs to be let go of, leaving the past and the past, leaving the burdens and the worries and all of that icky feeling in the past. The ascension happens to give us a new start. But the thing is, it's a turbo boost. So it happens so fast. Sometimes we don't even see it coming. But what, what it does is it causes many, many endings to happen in our life. And we're taught to leave it in the past because that memory belongs to an older version of us. We are no longer that person. We are not the same person as when we were five or seven or 12 or 20 or 30. We are not the same person. We're evolving on a practical level, right? But when it comes to spiritually, this evolution is happening with us physically as well. So it's connected. So your spirit and your soul is already so great. And then it comes in this body. And then again, there's limitations because of the body. And there's many, many things that you're going to learn here. But overall, our oldest memory of when we were something years old belongs with that age of when we were there, leaving it in the past. This is going to help you ascend to even getting to know the greatest version of you is truly magical. It's a discovery that is a lifetime. And so if you guys chose deck number two, I'm hoping that this gave you guys some clarity when it comes to ascending to the greatest version of you. If you're looking on more enlightened education, you can find that again in my description box about ascending to this greatest version. So all in all, embrace it. It is you. You've always been it. And you're just merging and becoming more and more of your greatest self every day. All right, I'm moving on to deck number three. If you guys chose deck number three, this is how you can become the greatest you or how you can ascend to the greatest version of you. Okay, we have resurrection, come back, rebirth, renewal. That's a really great card to get. This usually has to do with temperance coming back to you. You were always there. You never left. It is the very core part of you that never leaves no matter how much you think you change it's that one core part of you that seems to say the same all right let's reveal the greatest version of the person that's listening or watching this video 
What is the greatest version of them? Please reveal this for me. Deck three. Thank you. All right, we have the Cosmic Enchantress. Wish craft. May your wishes come true. I attract a steady flow of abundance. So deck number three, we also have Equopius the Seer. Visionary, I chart the stars, signs, and symbols to craft magic. Whoa, who are you, deck three? Water spirit, emotions, memory, life force. So you guys definitely could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or have it in your chart. So the water spirit also is just naturally intuitive. And I, I feel like you're a clairvoyant. I definitely feel like you are here to play with magic. I see that you're here to attract many things. Okay. You're highly intuitive. If you are here, deck three, you are highly intuitive. You will ascend. If you have not already, we are constantly ascending. But ascension is just like a turbo boost into this greatest version of you. And we're constantly shedding layers. It's not like just one ascension. We go through many ascensions, but the cool thing is that it gets easier and you can learn the more tapped in you are, the more tuned in you are, how to use this ascension to your benefit. And so if you're going to turbo boost something, imagine turbo boosting the flow of abundance. So you're learning how to work with the waves. You're learning how to ride the waves and not control the waves. So this is going with the steady flow and understanding that you are connected, but what are you connected to? You are connected to the most high source of energy. And that's who your spirit wants you to know you are. You are a visionary. So you definitely could be someone, um, a visionary tends to be an inventor, someone who can envision we all have the gift of imagination. It's just whether or not we decided to exercise it up until this point that you are here. You can always exercise your gift of imagination and use it to then create the next chapter of your life. Literally, this is real stuff here. And so the more you believe in it, the more that it becomes real to you. I'm seeing that you are highly connected. I'm also seeing that you could have a highly connected life partner. Cause this looks like a, 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 an empire. If I were to look at two light workers, feminine, masculine energy, doesn't really matter the gender. I would say that this would be a couple that would also change the world together. So I definitely feel like you could have resonated with the twin relationship soulmate or deeply feel like there's a connection for you in this world that mirrors you. I would say, yes, you are learning to trust the information that you're given. You are learning to trust the signs. You are learning how to trust them and believe them because I can tell you them, but you must believe in the signs that you're getting and the, and the symbols that you're getting because it's helping you create magic. We have craft two times. So you, your higher self is your greatest version is a crafter. So whether or not you decide to do that practically, you definitely do that spiritually. Okay. So yeah, we have regret. We have some things that you've done that you've regretted, you know, not being so hard on yourself, letting that go means not being so hard on yourself, moving forward when the time is right. We have eight of pentacles in reverse. I dedicate myself to what I believe in. So spirit wants you to start getting back to you and your passion and your dreams, your vision, your desires. Some of you could have even been assisting many others' desires in this lifetime. I'm seeing you'll have many memories and revelations of who you were in the past life. You might have visions. Okay, I'm inspired to follow my passion. So this is where it's all, this is where it gets good. Your passions. This is who your higher self is. This is the distinguishing factor from you and others is your passion, something that was given to you, something that's embedded in you, a part of who you are. Okay, some of you are still, could be still discovering that, could be at the very beginning phases of getting back to your passions. 
Again, it could just simply be because you've been focused on existing or surviving or assisting others. But I'm definitely seeing there's a rebirth. There's a judgment here. There is spirit calling you back to your greatest version. Your greatest version is very fulfilled, never discontent, never bored. Very inspired to follow passions. And from this comes success and financial stability. Because once you believe it and then you share whatever it is you believe with others, there is abundance here. So if you share, decide to share your gifts and talents with a business or a company, partnership, et cetera, I do see that there's success here when you're following your true passion, not when you're following the vision of someone else's. It's the vision that you have. Give me the vision for this deck. Yeah, look at that. I can't make this up. I couldn't. Queen and king. Okay, you're manifesting a life partner, you're manifesting a soulmate, but you're also manifesting balance. And practically, it's definitely something that you're here to have stability, financial security. Some of you guys could be entrepreneurs, some of you could be CEOs, directors, have a lot of dreams and visions that you want to come through. Some of you will build empires in this lifetime, some of you are pioneers. So if you're feeling discontent and bored and it's like Groundhog Day and everything's the same, that's usually a sign that, hey, get back to you, get back to you. And sometimes that, that happens through an ascension because when an ascension comes, it's like, dang, I knew I wasn't focusing on what I should have been focused on. That's what the ascension comes to remind us. So you're definitely going to have practical success. And yeah, we have temperance, Sagittarius energy. So that's all about coming back to your spirit. I mean, when I, when I see a call, if I could picture this, it would be the universe literally calling you, like literally calling your phone. Like, hey, are you done yet? <laughs> are you done mapping it out? Can I come in and help a little bit? Because I see, I see. That's what spirit is saying, because I see. And you have the ability to even imagine and vision through that same spirit that is I is what the universe is saying. Your spirit guides, higher self. <clears throat> okay, and how can you do this? When I'm patient, I let the universe do it for me. <sighs> Stubborn sometimes we can be, you know. Um, and it could come from always feeling like you had to do it on your own or feeling like when you do it, it gets done better. There's so many things that we could adapt subconsciously, but that's why I said you are co-creating that third eye, the ability that you have to even see f on a spiritual level that is given to you. It's almost like a piece of the universe that's inside within you that even allows you the ability to do so. And so we have to acknowledge the universe. And I'm definitely sensing that that's part of your ascension is to acknowledge it. And it's cool because the more you get back to it, the more power you realize you do have. So what you cannot do for yourself, let the universe in. When I merge my desire with faith, I can take action from a place of peace rather than control. Exactly. You are not doing this on your own, but the things you have been doing haven't really landed you to the greatest, I could say, feelings, because I'm sensing there's more for you to experience. You can think of your greatest moment in life. Higher self is saying you can take, take your greatest moment of life, magnetize it by 10, and it still wouldn't be as great as, a, as the life that is meant for you in this moment. And we're constantly evolving. But I do hear that spirit is saying you have limited the amount of joy you can obtain and you can have more of those experiences, but be open to relinquishing some control and let me be the universe. That's what your higher self universe spirit is saying. So I can take action from a place of peace. So now you can just, you know, what? okay, cool. This is not even for me to know, you know, and then you can let it go, allow the universe to come in, do its thing. You put in your request, keep following what feels good to you, be open to receive it. And that's it. 
There's nothing but celebrations here. So I'm definitely sensing that that is something spirit wants you to know. And the more you take one step at a time, the more steps you take, the more you will have faith. Of course, you're, some people don't just jump head in when it comes to the universe or God. Some people don't. They really don't understand what even that concept is. And so what do you do? You take it one step at a time and allow the universe to reveal itself. But if you want the universe to reveal itself, you must get out of the way. Keep following your passions no matter what. I actively hold true to my values. Don't neglect what means the most to you, is what spirit is saying. Deception and envy. Okay, you're getting rid of the mask. Recognition and reward. Harmony. Couldn't make it up. You're attracting a life partner if you have not already felt like you've met your life partner, you are attracting that. Your The universe will guide you and bring you two together. We're going to get some more information on that recognition card. And in order to ascend, we have beauty ritual and we have dance. So this is self-care, more care, feeling good about you. Okay, another thing that you will probably experience in your ascension is just identity. And that is changing the body, going through. Sometimes we do things to basically represent a transformation in our life, whether it's coloring your hair, um, you know, getting tattoos, doing nail polish, expression is what I'm getting. So with this beauty ritual and dancing, it's just like have fun. And this is already you. So these assignments and the missions that you have really start to question if, is this part of the joy or am I just doing this kind of out of routine? Is this part of my joy? And then also just being open to the universe, being able to guide you. What's this recognition and reward coming from for them becoming their highest self? What's this recognition and reward here for deck three, becoming the greatest version of them? Thank you. Page of Wands. So there's a creative, there's a creative pathway that you will take that will definitely give you a lot of recognition and reward. Um, I really want to say the greatest version of you. And again, let's just see if this resonates, but I'm feeling very strongly. You are going to make a lot of changes in this world. You will change the world through some of your vision, some of the things you say, even if you decide. Let's just say, let's just say for fun, you decide not to be the star this lifetime and you have kids. Let's just say you don't have kids. Okay. Let's make this hard. Even if you have grand children that you've adopted, you will still inspire that person who could possibly change the world. And I'm sensing that you are actually here to do that. Now, whether or not you wake up to that phone call is up to you. But I'm sensing very strongly here that there is recognition and reward for some type of creative project, some type of business that you're doing, some type of adventure that you're taking. It's an energetic flow. This is something that has a lot of passion, a lot of fire behind it, and it's going to lead you right to recognition and success. It's going to lead you to your life partner. If you haven't already met them, it's leading you to the greatest version of you, which means accomplishments. When you become the greatest version of you, guess what you attract? Great. Okay. We have the six of wands, which is public recognition. Some of you guys might not even want it. Because I know I, I'm not really a fan of it. I've been talking a lot about this, but I'm definitely not a fan of it. Uh, public recognition and fame. That's really not my thing. But if it comes with the message that you're able to influence the world, then it's worth it. I'm seeing the star card here. So you are meant to be a star. Ten of cups. What a reading. <laughs> and they lived happily ever after. Literally. Now, the ones crazy enough to believe it are the ones who actually achieve it. So those of you who are here, the greatest version of you, family, children, if you want that. I'm definitely feeling like you could be connected to youth regardless, but I'm sensing lots of success practically. Your greatest version of yourself is rich. I just want to be honest here with no limitations. Rich, successful, um, lots of re recognition, lots of rewards for what you've done 
uh, lots of acknowledgement for what you've done from the people around you. People see you as a star, a visionary, it could be an inventor, um, someone who has a lot of abundance, someone who is lucky, fortunate. So this is your greatest version that you're, that you're ascending to. Now, any doubts about that, any fears about that, that's what needs to be rid of so that you can actually ascend to this greatest version. And that's, that's the journey really is removing all of these limits, doubts, and fears that are in, are in, in the way. And truthfully, that's what this journey is all about. And that is removing all of the fears, limits, blockages that are hindering us from becoming the greatest version. Right. And that's why I'm working to even express myself freely on a greater scale, because some of you will go off and be legendary. Some of you will go off and be giants. And I have to say that because that is the truth. And you must know that. So those of you who even if you want to hide, I mean, it just reminds me of this show that I was watching for the first time, Hoarders. And one of the ladies, again, she was just, she was a star. Like you can tell in her life that fame or stardom was going to find her some way. And it's like, she's 60 something, but she's still a star. Her calling still found her, even though it happened to be in the episode of Hoarders, which is probably not the best. It was still like, wow, some people, they're just meant to be who they're meant to be. And so your calling is going to find you, even if you try to hide. And this calling is coming through your fulfillment. So I'm hoping that I gave you guys a little bit of inspiration. If you guys chose deck number three, this is amazing. I'm sending so much positivity your way, so much love, so much light and encouragement and just trust and let this experience and journey be fun. Okay. Don't overthink it. Don't complicate it by trying to control it. Just allow it to flow. If you guys are looking for other pick a card readings, you can find that at the tarotchest.com. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of feedback to you guys. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number four. If you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and how you can become the best you in a sense, how you can ascend to the greatest version of you. We have open like the lotus flowering spirit revelation and maturity so you're definitely going to mature even more into this person this greatest version that you're becoming let's see reveal their greatest version for the people watching and listening what is the greatest version for this deck what's their greatest version what's their greatest version thank you i love it you guys are destined for greatness if you're here we have gateways of light, infinite. I have unlimited access to the divine mind. So you are connected to infinite intelligence. So this doesn't have to come through a degree. It doesn't have to come through a book. This is just simply being connected to source, which is an unlimited amount of intelligence. So you will know the answer to many things by just simply following your intuition. So I definitely see that that's really cool. So we have Athusa, sun goddess, lift off. I open my senses to feel delicious pressure and passion. Okay, you guys could have seen this card before. I recently spoke about that. Okay, so this ascension is causing you to surrender, to let go of whatever is not compassionate to yourself. Also, I'm sensing that you're a very creative person. Your higher self is very creative, very worthy. Your highest self enjoys to have fun, to be joyful through pleasure, through passion, through excitement, through creativity, everything the Empress stands for pretty much. We also have the leap ecstasy, bliss, and belief. So your highest, greatest version desires to create euphoric moments here on earth, uh, moments of ecstasy, moments of bliss. This is definitely possible. Yep. Definitely knew the Empress was there for sure. Okay. So looking at what needs to be ascended, we have some things in the practical world. So I'm hearing that your practical world should represent also the greatest version of you. And that 
greatest version happens to be very abundant. This greatest version of you happens to be very joyfully. I create what I choose naturally with joy, a, a creator for sure at core, a creator. So I am as young as I choose to feel. So that's something as well. Age has nothing to do with who you are. Um, your body actually doesn't have anything to do with who you are. It's really just a container for our spirit. Our spirit and our soul is the essence of who we are. And that's the discovery that spirit wants you to take to get to know more of who you are, get to more know more of that empress energy that you do have, the ability to create. You actually are in more control and authority than you think. We have the third eye. We have emotional withdrawal. We have the waiting game. What does spirit want you to do to ascend deck four? Chanting, meditation, because bliss is important to your highest self. So if you have to meditate to get there, then that's something as well that your spirit will call you towards. We also have watch a movie. So this tells me that your spirit wants you to relax so that you can ascend, not to worry about certain things, not waiting to go after your dreams, not waiting to go after your passions, we also have emotional withdrawal and we have third eye. So let's get some clarity. Okay. Reveal deck four's greatest version. And where are they at now? Okay. Justice Libra. You don't have to be a Libra, but you could definitely have Libra in your chart. I'm seeing the seven of wheels. So this is progressing. You have been going through evolution for some time is what I'm sensing. So you've been planting your seeds. I'm seeing that you're waiting for the fruits of this to flourish. Let's see what this emotional withdrawal is. Okay. The wheel of fortune, five of cups. I also feel like if you are here and you chose this deck, I do see that you have a soulmate that you will be attracting. This soulmate definitely feels like a mirror of you, representation of you. You see that they're surrounded. Um, wow, that's crazy. Two of cups at the bottom. Yeah, thank you, spirit. Infinite. So I definitely feel like you do have someone who mirrors you in this lifetime in the masculine or feminine energy. Uh, you could have definitely went through anything emotional that kind of caused you to withdraw. This would be part of the ascension process. And let's just see what the purpose of that is. The hermit, yeah. What was the purpose of this in the ascension? Yeah, wow. We have a huge card here, spiritual awakening, so that you can get beyond the illusion, schizophrenia, so that you know exactly who you are. Some of these people that you attracted in your life, circumstances, whatever it is, take it how it resonates that you had to withdraw from, did not align with the, the greatest version of you. Now, when I say the greatest, this does not mean the perfect, the most perfect. The greatest is just your greatest, fullest potential. And I definitely see that spirit really loves alone time with you. Um, so that's like silence and solitude, or maybe just taking a space out of the day to listen to meditation music, close your eyes and just focus on ecstasy and what that would look like here on earth for you. Start using more of your magic, learning how to do that. That's something I'm seeing here for you. If you guys chose deck number four, this is definitely some, some psychic abilities that I feel like you have. One of them is, is the ability to see. Now your eye could be clouded with judgment here with the third eye. So let's see what's preventing that third eye. Why did that come out in reverse? Adventure and flowering. So yeah, there's more maturing, more understanding of who you are part of this ascension. So to say your greatest version, your greatest version does have a soulmate. Your greatest version chooses to create naturally. The greatest version may desire to have children or projects. Birthing usually comes in the form of a child. So that's kind of how we see it when it comes to the energy in the spiritual world. It's like, you're creating, you're birthing, and that's why the Empress is here. So you will want to create many things. Your higher self wants to do that. 
the cool thing is with watch a movie is I, I see that that's coming through inspiration. Like just get back to being inspired and not thinking about every single thing that has to happen for these things to come true or for it to happen. Um, I'm definitely seeing, take your time, be patient with yourself. It's not really the universe. The wheel is turning in your favor of good fortune, but I'm sensing that you're letting go of everything that has happened and understanding that that is not part of who you are. Okay. I'm in awe of the magnificent guidance that's available to me. So feeling good will bring you far more than whatever you thought you needed. So exactly what I was saying, like, it's not about your degree. It's not about your knowledge. It's not about your expertise. It's not about anything egotistically. It's your energy. It's your vibration and feeling good is going to bring you much more than you ever thought you needed. And it's cool because spirit in this lifetime, you're going to be seeing so many magical moments where you can't miss it. And even when they happen, you might have to write it down or record an audio just to kind of talk about this revelation because months after it might feel like, oh, did that really happen? But spirit wants you to see beyond the physical. That's something I'm hearing for you hugely. See beyond the physical. There's more to this life than what you see physically. So beyond the illusion says you're better off with no eyes at all. Cause at least you can use your other senses and feel. I open my senses to feel. I don't know if her eyes are closed. Can't tell, but you really don't need your eyes to see spiritually. And you even have the third eye, see, see, see. So in order to ascend, you're ascending so that you can see, see beyond the physical. That's power. That's called psychic ability. So when I live and act from a place of spiritual alignment, which is focusing or following what feels good. I can trust that everything is working out for me. So you trust that even if it doesn't work out, your higher self is so carefully carefree. Remember that your highest and greatest version of you specifically deck four cares a lot about bliss. So imagine being in bliss. You're not going to care about anything. Bliss is heaven. Bliss is ecstasy. Okay. It's like you eating such a good bomb meal and you worried about something else. It's like, why would I, this is so good. I can't even focus on anything else. And so that's kind of the energy that you're going to be taking as far as when you know, everything's in alignment, you just have peace. You know that the dreams are going to come true that you have the visions that you have will come true. Uh, what you're trying to create is coming true but it's only coming true through joy. So if I don't know when or how it will happen, I can still trust that everything is working out for me. So sometimes we feel like we can only be confident or certain if we know the exact time and date, but time in the spiritual world is non-existent. So it's really irrelevant to your journey is what I'm hearing time. You guys could be a Virgo too. That's something I was picking up. Okay. Messages for deck four with the greatest version. Five of wands. The greatest version of yourself is also attracting um, certain people into your life, specific people, people who are not combative, people who do not fight, people who believe, people who are, who are a part of the joy. They have to be in alignment with where you're going. Um, the full card. So yeah, to ascend, I'm sensing even in your finances, the greatest version of you does not worry about shelter, does not worry about what need is not even a word in the vibration. Just think of your spirit. So pure need means that you're lacking something. And that, that word is a low vibration that does not register with your highest self. Your highest self is in joy and bliss. There is nothing to talk about, really. That's how your higher self sees it. So it's not like it's in bliss and then all of a sudden something bad happens in life and in front of you and then it changes. No, your highest self stays in the highest state. And that is just gratitude, happiness, and trusting that, oh, that must have happened for a reason. So you are learning how to let go of things and trusting that things are, are happening for a reason. Everything is. And it's all to get you to joy. So if spirit has to tear some things down or remove some things out of the way for you to get to joy, because that's your highest desire, 
that's exactly what, what will happen. Okay, one more card for how they can ascend to their greatest version. Thank you. We have turning in. Okay, so yeah, definitely turning in. We have the magician in reverse. We have lovers in reverse. And we have ordinariness. So I definitely feel... Like joy and bliss is meant to be ordinary. That is your highest version. Your highest version feels it's normal to be at joy 24-7. That's your highest, greatest version. Now, again, this is not for you to go to try to be perfect and be happy all the time because you're still human. Okay? Remember, we're merged in this body. Body having a hu human experience. So after you go through this turning in, I definitely see what's going to happen is you'll be able to manifest things that you need more, um, things that you desire. Um, and when I say things that you need more of, okay, let's cut that. And I will say, when you begin to tune in and hear more of what you sound like, what your higher self's voice sounds like, you will be able to distinguish the right voice to follow. Through this, you will be able to manifest everything that you desire, including a soulmate. But I see that many things feel like they're upside down right now. And this ascension that you are going through or will go through will turbo boost that. And that is definitely going to cause you to have to question some of the things that maybe are in the way that could be blocking this joy from coming in. Let's see what that last message is for how they can become this greatest version. Yeah. We have the Ace of Cups here. So this is definitely an intuitive card. Now we have the Queen of Cups. She's very intuitive. So the best way to ascend, I'm sensing for you, you could have even been drawn to another deck, but I sense that that's where you're going even further more because I'm, I'm feeling that every ascension is in a level. When I look at every deck that I've went through today and it seems like your level is coming to this initiation of just really understanding who you are for real, not just like a tarot reading, but really feeling that connecting source so that you can have a glimpse. And I'm going to ask the universe to show you if you are here, what that looks like. Okay. And so all you have to do is ask the universe, show me my greatest version, show me my greatest self. And I did that in a whole entire meditation. If you guys are looking for that information on how to ascend to your greatest version and understanding the steps, you can find that down below or in the description. So this, this codependence feeling, even with the devil, it's like you will not need anybody or anything when you have your intuition. So there is a little bit more that you're learning so that you can ascend to the greatest version, but it's important for you to see the greatest version. So if you ever find the time to do that, just ask spirit to show you your greatest self. And even in the meditation, and this is just a very powerful way of just expanding and allowing it to be shown to you. Cause sometimes we dim it with our doubts. We said, wait, is that too big? Uh, a little or self, a little or self. No. You are, you don't have to do anything. Sometimes we feel like the greater it is, the more work we have to do. No, that's not true. Because when you're true to you, it just happens very naturally. So I'm hoping that I gave you guys some clarity with this reading on how to ascend to the greatest version of you. You are definitely learning to become more of a believer. And that's, that's a great place to be, deck number four. If you guys did choose this deck, please do comment down below so I can get some words of feedback. And if you are looking for some secret pick of cards off the grid, you can find that at the tarotchest.com. All right, I am out to the next reading. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this one. I'm wishing you all the best. Love and light.